Welcome back to part four of my Electro House tutorial. I'm DJ Ridiculous, and let's open up our projects and get going. So hopefully what you have here is what you see in your project. If not, you can refer to parts one through three to catch up. But the first thing we're going to do is make a new software instrument because it is time to get that Dutch lead. What we're going to do is go to our mixer, add an ESX24 sampler, and we'll do mono for this one. First thing we're going to do is increase the glide to just under halfway. Do uh, the pitch modulation to 12. And then we're going to go and open up an oscillator. We're going to go to the factory, synthesizers, synth leads, and simple saw. Uh, that just reset everything. All right, back up to halfway. Uh, this needs to be at Porta. So we're going to drag this down so those two half circles touch and they're right in the middle. And a little bit lower. Change the pitch back to 12. Cut off all the way up. And we got to change that to mono. Let's call this one Dutchy. So like always, we are going to open up our pencil tool, create a box for us to draw some notes in, and we'll stretch it out to, was that eight measures? Yeah. So double click on it. Let's find a note. We're going to be playing on A2. So this is what I drew in. You can draw in whatever you want. This is what it sounds like. I'm also going to stretch it out for the full 16 bars. So as you could hear, that is blazing loud, and it also doesn't sound much like it did in the intro. So what we're going to do is we're going to EQ this. So I'm going to do the first one, uh, I believe this is EQ number three, at yeah, 440 hertz. We're going to uh, drag the width down to 35, add 7 dBs, go up to the very top high shelf. We're going to drag this one down. We need a lot of high frequency presence in this one. So we're going to uh, just tweak these knobs and come up with something that we like. And we're also going to engage the low cut. We'll turn this all the way up to 150-ish. Uh, I don't know. We'll listen to it and make a change afterwards. Well, that's loud. Let's uh, just turn down the volume from here. We'll make this minus 4. That's still blazing loud. Let's try minus 8. There we go. Getting better. Now we can uh, hold Command and Option, and we're going to drag the side chain compression plugin from uh, whatever instrument that was onto our duchy. And it's not side chain either. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Uh, you have to drag your side chain loop across the entire song. There it is. Let's uh, mess around with these in here, see if we can get the sound we had. Forty. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add that synth during the buildup. So we're just going to click the duplicate button, and uh, that's going to make a duplicate of our duchy, and we'll rename it Pitch Rise. Create our pencil tool, make a box, pointer tool. We're going to stretch this out for the entire duration of our buildup. And we're going to put a nice long note at A2. And uh, I don't know why, but for some reason, when we duplicate a track, the bus options in the compression never duplicate with it. So I always have to go back in and change that compressor sidechain input to back to bus 3 where it was back on our duchy track. And we'll do, we'll do A2. Drag this out a little bit longer. Oh, oops, we got to drag this back to the build-up section. And we're going to make this a nice long note because this is going to be that sound that keeps going up and up in pitch, which gives our build-up a little bit of energy. And right now it's just one long note. So we need to make this pitch bend up. So what we're going to do is we can go into our controls. If you don't have this menu open already, you can just click on that little icon with the three horizontal lines and change it to pitch bend. Now we're going to try and click and put a dot right at zero. I can never get the, the dot directly on zero, like one out of every 10 times I try. And if somebody knows how to get that thing on zero, please tell me because it really makes me angry when I have to start at negative one. And we'll make another dot on the right at 63. I guess that's as high as it goes because I've never gotten it to 64. And that sounds a little bit more like a buildup. Now we want to make this this pitch rise fade in a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to filter it in, which is a really popular technique in introducing any new sound in a house track. So we're going to go to filter, auto filter, and mono. And what we want to automate is this cutoff knob here. We want this to knob to start at the left and end at the right. So we're going to hit the letter A to open up our automation controls. And we're going to go find cutoff in this menu. There it is, fourth from the top. As you can see, it's at 50 where the knob was in the plugin. Let's drag it all the way up to the top, put a 100% right where our note ends, and we'll bring something around 20% for where the note begins, depending on how quiet you want it to start. I, I picked 27, I guess. shrink back down for when the loop restarts and we only want that to go for four beats all right so next up in tutorial five we'll be putting in some white noise so stay tuned it'll be coming up next <laughs> 